Why, hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. This is Otaku Shobo. Today is Tuesday, April 9th, 2024. Hello. Welcome. I am here. There is... There is no cat today. Not not with me, not right now. We'll see if... Uh, we'll see if Ollie decides that he wants to join me at some point but as of right now he's probably up like in the den behind me against uh up on some other boxes in the den on a pillow in there by the uh by the window one of the windows so he's he's got a he's got a spot that's like in the back against the wall on a pillow raised up off the ground with a window to look out of if he wants to. It's like next to the window. It's a nice place that he goes to from time to time. That's probably where he is, since he's not behind me. So, anyway. Uh, let's see what to discuss here at the beginning of the stream. Uh, 3D printing stuff still, still selling. It's, it's going. Um, oddly enough, more... Etsy sales at the moment than uh, than eBay sales, which is a little weird. Not used to that, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been nice. I did last night have a sale for two of my base mode prints. That's like these things, the, like this guy here. So I decided to take the opportunity, as I talked about last time, to try to print with a thicker line width for the base mode prints to make a thicker, slightly thicker, stronger wall for the print. Um, my initial setting didn't really work out that well for a, uh, a Game Boy 6 slot, slot, a, a, a stand that has two by three. Uh, so it's, it's like, it's like this guy, but it's two tiers, three wide, for Game Boy game height, so it's got the one tier for the full height of a Game Boy cartridge, and then another tier with the full height of the Game Boy cartridge. Uh, I tried putting that at 0.8 on my uh, K1 Max on on this bad boy, right right here, this guy, uh, on that guy up in the corner. Uh, I I tried printing it at 0.2 millimeter layer height at the normal speed that I would normally print at, uh, which is about 90 millimeters per second and that had it seems a little bit of a z height issue and it caused a little bit of uh, deformation on uh, the bottom rim so on the on the bottom like rim that would be seen at all times there was uh, there's a bit of messiness there that i would not be comfortable with uh, shipping. So I reprinted that particular object at the same settings. It's fine at 0.6 and point at 0.6 uh, 
line width and 0.3 layer height. Um, it's been fine like that for that particular item. So I did it at the normal settings. Uh, but they also ordered, in that same order, the Nintendo 64 two-slot vase mode stand. So like that one right there behind me for Super Nintendo, just a little not as wide for the for Nintendo 64 cartridges. Blah, as I hit my microphone for, for these guys back there. I don't have one at hand currently. But yeah, this... this you know this vase mode thing, which as as you can as you can see over time, at 0 0.6 millimeters, there's there's a bit of a a bit of a bow here at 0 0.6. I'm pretty sure this is 0 0.6. Uh, so I wanted to thicken the walls to make it so that while yes it will deform a bit over time, it won't be as much. Well, it won't be as much for the weight it has to handle. So I tried it at 0.8 for the Nintendo 64 one, but not the 0.2 millimeter layer height. I did the 0.3 millimeter layer height, the same that I've done throughout the thing that the, the layer height that I have everything calibrated for on the machine. So 0.8 with 0.3, slower, 60 millimeters per second. Uh, and even with a... 0.4 millimeter nozzle orifice diameter. It was still able to do the 0.8 print. Uh, it might not be exactly 0.8. It might be a little less than that, but it was a good. It was good enough. It was good enough. It's thicker than the 0.6. It did end up thicker than the 0.6. It came out flawlessly took slightly longer, about five minutes longer. Of course, uses some more material. There's a little bit of an extra material cost with it, but, you know, for that particular thing, worth it. I would like to test that with a larger tray, like my triple, uh, my, like my 16-slot Game Boy Advance thing. Uh, I want to see what it's like at 0.8. I think at an object that size, it might need to be one to be sturdy enough for my tastes but that i would need another i would need a replacement nozzle that's larger orifice uh, for that machine and uh yeah not not gonna happen yet yet uh, particularly when all of my other stuff is calibrated with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle uh replacing the nozzle is not it's not easy, to say the least, and I'm not going to go back and forth, back and forth on it. I would want a different machine with a larger nozzle, which I have. It's just that machine, it's so much, so much slower. It's so much slower. My, my Ender 3 S1, I actually have nozzles up to one millimeter for it, but... Its volumetric flow rate is so trash for production items that I, I just wouldn't be able to print with any amount of speed on it at the larger line width. Because, yeah, I could have a one millimeter nozzle printing at one millimeter line width, or larger could do like two millimeter line width. Uh, but. It would need to be incredibly slow to print. Incredibly slow. And it would take a very long time. A very long time per item. To the point where it not, will not be worth it. And I made this, I said this last time too. It wouldn't really be worth it. So I would need it on a faster printer that I know is working with the base mode stuff. I've got some concerns with the uh, any cubic. Cobra 2 Plus behind me. I have some concerns about Vesma prints with that. It, uh, I, I, I've, I, I don't quite trust it yet for a larger Vesma print. I might calibrate that, but then 
Uh, I think in the end, I just need another K1 Max at some point with, with a larger nozzle that will just be the printer with the larger nozzle for face mode prints. I think I just need a printer with a larger nozzle for face mode prints to just be the printer with a larger nozzle for face mode prints, but I'm not at that point yet where I can reasonably afford to do that. Um, anyway, I just, I just, I just don't happen to have like $800 plus to, to put down for another K1 Max. And I don't have the power infrastructure in the, in the house really for adding another K, K1 Max in that room. I just, I, I don't, I don't have it. It's, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's sort of that. Uh, I continue with, uh, with playing games, of course. I'm continuing with, uh, the Eternal Grind on Hawkeye Star Rail for, uh, planar ornaments at the moment. Uh, there is a 3x drop rate starting tomorrow for the anniversary one, one of the anniversary event things. It would normally be 2x. There would have otherwise been a 2x drop rate. Uh, but because of anniversary being this patch, it's 3x drop rate. It's still going to be limited to 12 total rewards for the entire event. It's going to be 12 total as normal. It's just rather than 2x, it's 3x. And it will be similar later for relic drops there'll be a 3x relic drop rather than two and it will be that one's slightly different that one's three per day for a week i think it's i think it's three it's three per day for a week it's usually it's usually half the day's stamina cost and the stamina cost is 40 per run so it should be yeah, it should be Three by seven total, I think, unless it's still 12 and it's just three per day until you hit 12. I don't remember. I don't remember it. They only, they only do the relic one every other month because they do the, they do the, uh, the Calyx double drop in the other month. They alternate between double relic and double Calyx, which the, the Calyx is for, uh, you're like EXP, gold, and trace drops. EXP, weapon EXP, and gold, plus the, the, the materials that you need to level up the, your skills. Um, but that, yeah, that one's next month. Um, or next patch cycle. Anyway, uh, besides that, still playing Azure Lane and still playing AFK Journey. Uh, Azure Lane, I am in the process of grinding out for uh, a couple of battle monitor ships. Still, I have I got one. I got Terror. And I think the other one's name is Erebus. I have to actually I have to I have to check what is what is the other battle monitor from four three. 4-3, it is Erebus. Yes, that, that's it. I was correct. Wow. Names! Finally coming back to me. Uh, finally, fi finally remembering some name things. You know, I only, I only have to, like, remember the name of several hundred ships in that game. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, a lot I already know, because a lot of them are, you know, names of U.S. cities and states, or all the U.S. ones. All of the Eagle Union ones, excuse me, because <laughs> uh, they 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 the, the ships are based off of real ships, and they just like made up alt reality type names for countries. But it's very clearly like there's there's U.S. There's Great Britain. There's um, I think there's Italy now. Actually, there's Italy. There's China. There's Germany. There's Japan, of course, because it's like World War Two era stuff. Um, they have China in there. At this point, it's, in it's interesting. They've they've been adding some other like nationalities. It seems, but uh, yeah, still on that grind. I've gotten I've gotten three terrors and zero Erebus at this point. But they're purple. They're not super rares. They're elites, so they should be more common. I say should be more common. 
in practice, it is a bit, a little bit more common, but it's still going to take a little bit of time. Um, and once I get Erebus, a single copy, I will no longer farm for three. I'll be farming for two, I guess, for equipment drops. I probably don't need at the moment. I actually have to check. I, I think I might be actually good on purple equipment. Definitely good on levels. <laughs> Definitely good on levels. I should be actually pushing the, the main story content, I think. Probably the next uh, next weekly reset where you get like thousands of stamina at the beginning of the week. So that would probably be when I have to go through chapter 6. Now I, I, I am at I've unlocked 6-1, and I need to clear 6, and I can probably also clear 7, and potentially even 8, uh, with the current strength of my characters on that, in that game. Um, also unlocked, I actually fully built the first PR character ship. The, I, I have worked on getting St. Louis. Pretty sure that's the one. Pretty sure that's the name. One of the saints. Uh... It is a heavy cruiser, I believe. Heavy cruiser, CA. Uh, it was a royal pain to construct that character uh, with the uh, with the construction system. Uh, the ultimately the limiting factor was getting the retrofit materials that were required to make the purchase of the character to complete the last the things that I needed to do to get the character. You also needed to do like get a million experience with characters from that faction and then get two million more experience from characters in that faction as like little little quests to complete to get the to get the character to get the ship um but i i, I did it the last thing i needed was like the the purples oddly the purple uh cruiser materials retrofit materials it, it need it needed to needed to spend ten purples and like five golds, and I ended up getting the five golds first. It's like weird. Um, and the next the next one I'm working on is the rune KMS ship. So that one is also a cruiser. Would also need all that stuff, but I'm gonna I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna work on my San Diego first. I'm gonna I'm gonna retrofit my San Diego first. I've, I've, I I I I have San Diego and and they actually had in the in the shop the material to do the uh the retrofit for for that character. So I got it and I'm in that process now. Another cruiser <laughs> to retrofit. So it it'll never end by design an afk journey uh continues afk journey continues i am now at afk stage 395 thank you to the battle pass for providing a gigantic amount of experience today uh like over 700,000 experience uh got me got me leveled up enough to uh clear sweep through what remained there wasn't that much that remained just the last uh like uh five levels i think because this the whole process from 350 to 395 was actually significantly easier and i believe that it mostly in part to having the battle pass now um still it's nice because that advances me into chapter two uh so i have advanced into the first area of chapter two now and i'm working on exploring that area ah so that that is oh yeah and i got i got uh Cessia to mythic plus i got another copy of Cessia, so i'm actually on my way one more copy and i can upgrade her further from mythic to beyond mythic mythic plus and then supreme supreme she shall be supreme soon ish maybe I need one more copy, plus all the acorns. I might, I might not have enough acorns, because you need acorns to advance your S tier characters. Ah. Anyway, that's that. I, I got Iron as well. Iron 
he's mythic now as well. That, that happened this morning. Got got Iron to mythic. Um which is nice for PvP because he's a good PvP character. He's got a skill that like groups everyone up. So if you have another character that does a big like local AoE, it just groups them up and then bang, all dead. So anyway, that's the uh that's the beginning spiel. Game game. We continue from where we left off last time. Into the game. -oo. Oh boy. Um Addressing comment that was made, uh, no, I do not need to have immersite or for water production. No, I do not need that. Water water is made from immersium, or from the water. Water is from immersite water. It's just on demand. I don't need the, uh, I don't need the solid immersite to make infinite water. Just three buildings total to get water anywhere that I need it up to an extent because it's the it's the Omni tractor it's the sink hole and it's the uh, and it's the stone water well that's water oh so, yeah I've got a, I've got a few um seaweed crop facilities. Yeah, that's what we were that's what we're in the middle of working on right now. We are building seaweed crops. Placing seaweed crops. Why? Uh, because we are going to be using all of this seaweed to make agar. This is all for agar. This entire thing. Um I'm gonna need limestone. I'm I'm gonna need to go and get my limestone real quick so I can continue making these buildings. I'll also need, you know, all of the seaweed modules as well for this. I'll need a few units for this. Just a few. So I need to get all the way down here unless... I have not. Wonderful. All right. To the mall. To the mall. To the mall we go. How many? Zero, of course. Um, give me a few soil extractors. We're going to make some limestone at the mall, uh, just like we did with the uh, soil here. We're gonna do the same thing just with uh, limestone instead. Just change the recipe to limestone. And throw it into a big, big box that I can just come and take the limestone from. Or I could, you know, just set up the actual uh, assembler making the things making the seaweed crop facilities we could do that but uh no hey everyone ran away because they had to recharge i said no what i meant was yes in this specific circumstance. And the reason is I've got all the stuff, it's just, uh, yeah. Throughput is gonna be slow off that one inserter. That's something to just have them over time. The, the thing is, I sort of need, like, infinity of them now. What is the highest mark level thing that I have voluntarily upgraded from not a requirement? Ah, uh, uh, huh. Wasn't a requirement. Um, go to the, the, like, first Alien Life playthrough? 
where I did investigate some stuff. I believe I I did do Ulrich to Mark IV. There, there are some things that I did to show the processes of going up to Mark IV in the first playthrough. I think it was the first one. Um... I did, I have done plenty through Mark IV. I, I am pretty sure Ulrich. I had done voluntarily. I don't know why I did it voluntarily when it's not needed in the slightest, but I did do it. It did happen, I think. I'm fairly sure. And there were some others, I don't know. The kind of thing you do once and then never again. I know that I did Arcod's um, by choice in the, uh, first alternative energy series. But, in that series, a number of the, uh, upgrade processes, I did do a few modifications to speed it up a little bit because it just, it takes too long. It takes way too long. You know, just in general, I had modded Arcods too in uh, like the previous uh, Pi Block series. In Pi Block, I modified regular Arcods so that the uh, so that all the odds were multiplied by ten, including all like the expense was multiplied by ten. It just it just adjusted by upwards by factor ten for the queen uh, the queen usage and production. Uh, this does not change the overall input of item requirements or the output items. It doesn't really change the factory itself, but what it does do is it makes it so that you have more queens moving at a time. So you can spool, spin up your factory faster for the Archons. Since you are more likely to get a queen to start the process to get more queens. One of the biggest issues with Arcods is the fact that it was a less than 1% chance to get a queen in the first instance. Um, which is not okay. Never was, never will be okay. And because the game's updated, I'll have to make that same edit again. Uh, I could put more down, but I think that's fine as is. I'm going to get in my car and go down to that other box that has limestone in it. I can grab it. And hey, at least in this playthrough, the Arcots will be slightly, ever so slightly, easier. 
Oh yeah, I'm, I had made an, a little bit of an oopsie here. There's a, there's a little bit of a contamination on this line. There's, there's not supposed to be sand castings in here on this line at all. It's all supposed to be just the, the concrete. But I did an oopsie, put an underground in front of a splitter. The base is actually quite large. This, is, this area here is actually quite large. Deceptive. It feels small, but it's actually really large. If you're, like, in a car trying to drive it. Trains really change the sense of scale. Alright, give me... Gib box. Oh yes, now I need ten. Great. Thanks for ten. Oh yeah, I've upgraded, uh, I think I've upgraded Mukmo as well. Voluntarily. Although, that was, like, early, because currently, like, the current balance of things, you don't even really need Mukmo anymore. Not really. It's a little odd. They're supposed to be, like, good for manure, but I just, I, I don't go out of my way to get them anymore. They have a neat upgrade, though. Yeah, a, a neat upgrade for, for them. Uh, Makmo. Uh, I hope it hasn't changed. Yeah, artificial insemination, where you put one Makmo in and you get uh, between 150 and 250 calves and no adult return. It's actually very worth it. It's actually, like, pretty good. Because by, by the time it's relevant, you'll have that, uh, the stuff to do it. Or be close enough. Uh, and I remember doing uh, quite a few upgrades for uh, that were part of the um, okay, no, I haven't brought seaweed. Um, there are a few of the upgrades that are done through 3D printing that I had done that I'm never going to do again. For like trits, I did trits. Pretty, I got them pretty high. Um, but I, I'm not going to do the 3D printed upgrades until they are changed. Unless I can, I, I need to.
Hello, welcome to the stream. You are making agar. If it looks like we're making seaweed, yeah, we're making agar. Such is agar, it's infinite seaweed. That's all it really is. And a bunch of power for the steam. Speaking of power. It's time. I need to do this upgrade. I need those, uh... I need circuits now. Need to add another line for power. We're too low. Not too concerned about placing the buildings at the moment because I don't have enough seaweed to fill all the slots. I'll just let my build queue build it up. I'll place what I can of the infrastructure of the other logistics infrastructure. How much water was this? Not the right page. Agar. 750. That means that all of the water can be given from one Omni Tractor. Can't draw a straight line. Hmm. All right, let's get through all this. At least we've got niobium pipes. I can really stretch. Um. That said 187 buildings yesterday.
Excuse me? The fuck? Which is it? I don't know. It is. 188 and not 187. 187 is 37.4 and I need 37.5. So it's 187 and a half. Now, this will be more than I need, but he's fine. I'd rather have more than not enough. Ah, oh, yeah, so what is my goal for the day? <laughs> uh, as with every other stream of uh, this train transition, uh, as much as possible... Uh, to the ultimate goal of getting everything that is from my main bus onto my train network. That is, the, the ultimate goal is get everything that is on my main bus onto my train network, and we won't be considered done with this process until that happens. Which the very last thing that will likely happen will be getting the logistics science on the train network. That is likely the very last thing because it's the very last, like among the last things up here. Besides the niobium and the nichrome up there, uh, like logistics science is the last big thing. Uh, so it will be the last big thing that gets put onto the train network, but we still need to do a ton uh, of work here. Um, so right now I'm working towards getting rubber, which needs latex, and working towards getting into the formic acid for the latex, which needs rauk and rauk cocoons, which I'm going to do this time through rauk food. Rauk food needs agar. So we're working on making agar right now. We have, in the previous two streams, set up the fawagi and the tin and the moss and the wood for this. We still need the agar and the cellulose, but the cellulose, that I'm only going to need to have sodium hydroxide to make it. Uh, I do want a cellulose factory, though. Uh, may end probably a saline water factory though as well uh on a salt uh yeah and once i do that uh oh and we we have set up the native flora as well 
Uh, so once we do that, I can build the Vraug factory. The sap will be done locally. Um, that will be done local. It's all, all almost always going to be local. There's no point putting it onto trains. Um, once I get the Vrauk cocoons and get the adult Vrauks, I'll have the formic acid that I need to make latex. To make the latex that... is gonna need the sodium alginate on trains, which is more seaweed and stone and limestone. But that whole part is the trivial part. Because getting into rubber, we're still also going to need titanium and aromatics and organic solvent. As well as having the anthracene oil on the train network available. So, my ETA on rubber is probably three more streams, at least. At minimum. At the pace that I've been going, it would not surprise me. Now we did have a I did have a bit of a discussion last time of is rubber actually worth doing next or should I instead get something else like additional circuits? Uh, and there is a lot of overlap in these processes, but since I've been saying that I'm getting rubber next, I we'll just get the rubber next. Just bear in mind it would be more beneficial to scale the uh, the other stuff first, the circuits first. What am I looking for? More. Uh, so this is now 192, which I know is a number that is equal to or greater than 188. Agar, we're also going to need 38 high pressure furnaces. And that uh be uh 19. Uh, by two. Yeah, I thought as much. Uh, I left a gap there for the steam production. Ah, oh, one too many. not hit the right button here. The correct button. Oh boy. Now uh, this is an even number. This is six, so I can easily make this two belt lines, but I have more than two belts of stuff. So I could easily make this three belt lines. Wait, 
there's it. I can make this into three belt lines. I could make it fewer if I stacked, but what I actually want is boxes for the moment because I need, uh, you know, a few modules to fill the thing in the first place. And I'm not powering it on. That's not happening anytime soon. It's here and ready to go for when I'm ready for it, but I'm not ready for it. In particular, my power grid is not ready to add another 535 megawatts. So I know it's not going to be that much perpetually, but it will need to be able to spike to that point until I fill up my buffer uh, warehouse bulk rail loader with agar, which, you know, that that is time and I need to be able to hit that peak value. So back at the mall, at the mall, at the mall. How many of these have been made? Zero, because I have not put this into a provider chest. Woo-hoo. All right. I now need at least 1,300 simple circuits. Whoops. Well, fine. Do that then. Got some. I think the only other thing is these guys here, and it's yeah, it's limited by the by the stuff. I keep, they keep bringing me what I do make of it. Right, so how many how many circuits is that? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, eighty-eight. I do believe that that. Uh, is actually not enough. I need 130 each. Oh, great job. Fantastic decisions uh, were made with uh, the material costs for these buildings. Just absolutely wonderful decisions made with, uh, with the material costs in this mod. That's three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, they got thirteen. Thirteen getting made. I had enough. I had enough because I request the mining drills, and so I didn't need as many of that extra 30, uh, since I do, I do make those here, and I have them, I, I have them, oh, but that one's making 10, how many are making, how many are actually making the electric mining drills? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should, uh, that should speed it up a little bit. I could also steal all of my small parts and clean up some of this. 
and all of those two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, two, one, two, two. This will vastly speed it up. One, two, two. All right, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So one made lo the long way, the rest will be the faster way. And then the other eternal question, where the hell do we put it? Um, if I grab my doohickey and do that, uh, we can see that I will need to make some adjustments here to all of this. Uh, Specifically, I need to move this up two tiles or over two tiles or something. I need to get it out of the way of my rails. It just It just needs to be out of the way, probably moved over here and, or something. And then the other the other stuff is just the routing of the belts over there. It just needs to not be in the way of where I will regularly place the rails, and then it can live there forever. As long as, long as it does not... is not in the way of my rails, it can live there forever. I'll continue to expand there. Now, I have not built additional uh, turbines and such. I think that I already have enough turbines and such, and heat exchangers on me. I, I think that I have it. Because there were adjustments that were made that uh, reduced the necessary number of those buildings. So I, I think I have extra. Okay, uh, for this, I need to do that, and then that. This needs to do that. This needs to move entirely. Let me go over there. to reroute the dang thing anyway. Alright, I think that's that. There might be a signal in the way. Ah. Alright, we did it. We did it. We did it! Yay! I... it's still in the way of that, but uh, I don't care. I don't think there's gonna be enough throughput for it to be an issue. This is backwards. Uh... Sigh.
Duck. That's better. Oh boy, the next issue would be that I would need to be able to get another five loaders out. There's a spot here, so I'd have to reroute this line. Why is there a splitter there? I don't know. Fine for now. Interesting. I see. Huh? Oh, Rick. Um, yeah, that's a slight issue. Are the others like that? No. Huh. Okay. Well, that's fixed now. Um, turns out I may have had enough, like, more power than I thought, but one of my turbines was rotated the wrong way. Yeah, and uh, they are capable of 100% on the two. I think it's 100% on the two. Um, so it's uh, 473 times two. 946 megs each line, so I just added another close to a gigawatt, effectively, for all intents and purposes. There we 
go. Everything is out of the way. Drive on back. I don't need to place the rail here, just making sure that there's nothing else in the way. And that sure enough, there was more in the way. Boy, more updates. More updates to games. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is this is what makes the power and all of the other infrastructure is making the high-pressured steam. Yeah, everything else is to make the high-pressured steam. Specifically, this line of power plants heats salt up. It makes hot molten salt. So all of this is to make hot molten salt. And all of this stuff is to, uh, yeah, convert that heat into high pressure or pressurized steam that then gets thrown into the uh the turbines there what is the scale of power in pi uh it is not uncommon to have a late game base using in the terawatt range. Multiple terawatt range. Like, have you, like, have you seen the, uh, the particle accelerator? The particle accelerator sort of uses a gigawatt on its own per building. Yeah, one, one gigawatt or particle accelerator. And you need to have more than one in your base. Definitely. Now by the time we need these, ideally we'll have something a bit better still than this, because, yeah, that one building eats up more than one of this. Well, now that I have done that, uh, A, grab however many seaweed crops I've made, B, uh, I still am short on these, but at least they don't need any uh, circuits. I mean, same with the seaweed, but... Eh. Oh, yeah, I need to bring up the tin. I'm forgetting to import tin into my mall. How are we doing? Give a box of seaweed to me. Got some lines to uh, run up and down for a while. Let's me fill in all of this. All these lovely module slots. Don't you just love filling in module slots on every single individual building? in perpetuity. I sure as fuck don't.
That is one thing that has definitely graded on me over time. Just the idea of having, of needing a module to make a building move. Like, conceptually okay, but not fun in execution. Like, I get it. I get it, conceptually. It's just, it's not actually fun to play with. Not as designed. Oh yeah. That little dude didn't get put into the splitter. This should all be one box, not several. Yeah. And then we stack. And then we figure out how many out of these 19. 15. One each. Fine. Be that way. I've got electric inserters. The yellow inserters can do 1.2 per second. do have the ability to make the blues and those would be I think they're 2.4 but I don't need them not generally That should work. Save is auto saving. Okay, fifteen or not even fifteen, seven point five agar, half a belt of agar. This seven point five now. I understand that there is something to be said about having the seaweed be separate because it will upgrade over time. Uh, there are other seaweed recipes that exist that will be better off doing, that we will be better off doing, that will use significantly less space than this. And then what? What happens when I when I get that recipe? Like, uh, okay, we We'll, we'll have a lot more seaweed. I'll have to rebuild it because I'll need to actually input ingredients into the seaweed crops. So I'd have to delete it, rebuild it, 
it'll use less space, but that means more agar. That means I can do more agar. Uh, I'm thinking that there are specifically recipes that use limestone and saline water. And CO2. Uh, I will research that, actually, to have it available to me now. Um, that is worth getting. Um, I hesitate to spend fertilizer and slaked lime. Um... If I do anything further, it would be skipping up to the iron ore dust. I hate having to spend iron on it, but the buildings are huge, and the fewer of them I need, the better. And there's also a tech upgrade for seaweed. What are those options again? Seaweed is available at this tech level, so... I should check it. So what do we have? Improved pathfinding gives us speed, but makes it harder to build the buildings by adding in decider combinators, arithmetic combinators, uh, deciders, and arithmetics. Okay, but otherwise they're all the same. That's a reasonable uh, change. That's a reasonable thing to add to these. That doesn't make them that much more expensive, since you're likely making those combinators anyway. But the issues come in when it adds ingredients that you're not otherwise making, especially at that time. Uh, that's fair. 30% speed on huge building like buildings like this is generally useful. It does use more power, but that's usually not an issue. Um, yeah, it'll change the building's recipe to require additional decider combinators. It will replace the recipe with one that needs these combinators. It won't remove anything you've already made, but it will require you to do the enhanced recipe for anything new that you need to build. Uh, there's also the, uh, the this, which I took last time. Yeah, the building itself becomes a little bit moderately more expensive. It's not actually awful. And you do get speed. The thing is, 30%... I'm just trying to think, like, late game, how much of an effect that has, and really it's not much. If you're doing the more advanced recipes, we're talking 30% of, like, 10 buildings, 5 buildings. Like, it, it's not going to make an impactful difference late game. This is, def this is more an impactful difference when the scale is at 188 buildings. 30% fewer buildings of 188 buildings. That is a bigger number. It just drops off the later that you get into the game. Uh, down here, you get the uh, recipes that remove water from the recipes in their entirety. You still get the slaked lime cost. It only removes the water and the saline water. Um, without impacting speed. So with this, you have to think, okay, what was the, what's the infrastructure for the saline look like? And how much reduction is there on the saline infrastructure because you no longer need it for the seaweed? The answer is... It's actually not that much either. It's not that much uh, many entities either. It's not a huge entity change. Um, which is why I prefer actually taking uh, option two here generally because this gives you more options. This uh, gives you the ability to convert seaweed into slaked lime. 
and a little bit of chlorine, but it uses um, it uses oxygen. It a it actually is a closed oxygen loop, I think, with this. Um, and then you use the slaked lime to make calcium carbide. That's that's the other thing. So you can you can use the seaweed to make acetylene through this option. You, you can use it to make acetylene. You also get an early fine carbon dust, which would have been nice, for the exception that, you know, the, the recipe to actually use the fine carbon dust got shifted to utility science. Uh... Yeah, so normally it unlocks here, but the uh, boron nucleosynthesis is utility now. Ah, oh, God. It, that, like, it would be really nice to have the fine carbon dust if this were, you know, multiple patches ago when you actually had the recipe to unlock uh, boron nucleosynthesis. Uh, it used to be that the boron nucleosynthesis recipe would unlock in a batch of recipes that would require fine carbon dust, but the fine carbon dust didn't unlock until the next tech level. It used to be at, I think, at, uh, at chem, but you wouldn't be able to get the fine carbon dust until purple production science. So this tech upgrade, it would have been nice because you could get fine carbon dust to have when you get the ability to do the nucleosynthesis for boron. And why is that important? Because boron is itself a, an ingredient to make proton donors. And they use proton receivers. So you need, you need, you need boron for donors, but you can actually use receivers to make the boron, and the receivers just need sulfur. Now, don't do this if you don't have to. It's, it is a thing that exists that you can do that I have done in the past for like diamonds. It, you used to be able to get away with not having to even make the diamond chain, do the diamond chain at all. You could have just skipped the entire diamond chain by doing nucleosynthesis for diamonds, but I just do the chain now um, instead of this. Because the, the big thing is because crystallographic substrate costs insane amounts of rayon. And Rayon's a bitch. I'm not gonna mince words. Ray Rayon is not kind. In the slightest. You do not want to spend more rayon than you need. Posture check. Posture check. Redeemed. Uh, I'll give you a stretch too. Anyway, we're we're we're, we're moving. I don't know if you noticed, but I, I, I move a lot in the in the chair. I, I do I do move a lot. D don't think that it's that I'm that I'm here just sitting idle 100% of the time. Like I'm not actually idle, even though I am sitting. I I move a lot in this chair. My my legs in particular are constantly moving. I have ex extremely strong legs uh, primarily as a result of that I'm just always moving in this chair and repositioning and do, doing do, doing doing stuff with my legs it's like I'm, I'm constantly in motion here I, I'm the I, I'm the, I'm the type of person I, I bounce my legs constantly like constantly just a thing that I do without even thinking about it it's just Always in motion. Oh, so seven and a half 
Agar. Great. Which is why I don't really have that, like, problems, like, pain problems from sitting for extended periods. I don't, I don't have any issues with that, with any of that, because, you know, I, I move. Turns out if you're moving, sitting is actually somewhat okay. Alright, we have Agar. Thank goodness. I sort of want to have like five belts of Agar, but this is what we're starting with. Our, our single full square of Agar. Oh boy. Higher square just devoted to agar, to half a belt of agar. Can you imagine just to get another a uh, half belt is another factory, the same size. Then every additional belt is two more squares. Yikes. That is until we upgrade seaweed, um, which should come eventually. All right, next on the agenda. Towards the formic here. Uh, I do need to go up to Mafalgi to get the uh, modules put in. Yeah, I sort of... My box is full over there, so... Uh, once the uh, the bots decide they want to restock me, once we get this batch of stuff brought in, I will go to Falgi, because it's, it's almost break time. So I just want to get this little... this little housekeeping thing done here. Get this done. Enough time has passed. I like 5.2. Seeing the 5.2 up there. I think we're ready to make the food. If I make the cellulose local. This is not a great time to do the cellulose on the train network. I think. sure this is not the best time for that. Uh, okay. Power. Uh, so I'll do it local with the, uh, with the food and we'll do the food next. Um, yeah, because I, I also know it will take a uh, extremely long time. Auto save to actually set up a dedicated cellulose build, uh, which means I'll also push off the uh, like saline part of it too. Saline and uh, sodium hydroxide. I wanna I wanna hold off if I can on a sodium hydroxide factory until I get uh, the sodium hydroxide uh, slaked lime loop. Which I could do with seaweed. I don't even need to do the loop. I just can make sodium hydroxide from seaweed effectively. Yeah, because that, that's a thing. That's how I did it in Pi Block, our previous playthrough. So salt plus slaked lime equals sodium hydroxide and limestone. But you can slaked lime out of... Uh, it's not going to be in this list because it's a like hidden blocked recipe that gets added with the uh, turd upgrade system. Uh, but yeah, that, that seaweed recipe 
There's my alarm to say that we are ready to take a break. Uh, yeah, that seaweed recipe here. Seaweed, water, and oxygen makes slaked lime. So you can use seaweed to make the slaked lime. Now, the problem is that this built, that this is done in the both the base of the oxygen furnace so you need a uh, solid fuel to do this that is that is the one issue with this is that you do need to spend a fuel on that but uh, you can do this absolutely and i will do this for getting uh sodium hydroxide at scale because i think that this is a bit better than having to set up all of the uh, logistics work for doing the slaked lime loop because uh, that uses a lot of power in the form of chemical plants, and it's a lot of it's a lot of chemical plants. Um, I just I just prefer this because it's different from how I've usually done it. Anyway, uh, time to take a break. When I come back for the all right. When I come back for the second half. Him. Where is it? Where is it? Ooh. Uh, we will be making the stops. Where I just placed that other one, but it was not here. Oh, that was that 10. All right, now I can, now I can escape. Escape! Need an escape line. All right, I'll be back in a few minutes.
And I have returned. Welcome back. I have a cat. I have a cat. There's a cat. There's Ollie. Ollie, he's come out. So I found Ollie. Uh, he, he was not where I thought he would be. He was under my bed this time. He was, he was with Dolly, just a different section under the bed, but they were, they were both under my bed. Dolly just, she goes there, she sleeps. She's got a spot, she goes there, she rests. That's her normal spot that she goes to. The only time Ollie usually goes under my bed is if he's scared of something. So I don't know why he was there. Why were you under my bed? Why were you in, like, he goes to, like, the head of my bed. There's this little corridor at the head of my bed that goes from one side all the way to the other that the cats use to walk through. They walk down that line. But he goes there when he's scared, when he's scaredy cats. Why did you go there? Did you did you think that it would be a good spot to just sleep today? I don't know. It's not a, it doesn't really fit the ollie for sleep. You, you can't really you can't really ball up. There's no there's no. Yeah, you look at the camera. Oh, it's so cute. He's cutie. There's not there's no room to really ball up. There's no room to ball up here. Let's let's focus. Focus. Hocus focus. That's hocus focus. The kitty. Yes, focus. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yes, I know. I know, kitty. I know. Uh, he did not get his lap time. The, 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 the last stream. Yes, last stream where you were all very, very, in like, intent to try to get on my lap. But you ate my food that day, so no. He did, he did not get lap. Yeah, and you, you did not get lap that whole day. He got some lap yesterday, he's got some lap this morning. So he's, he's, he's fine now. Just, you know, why did you have to eat my, like, break into and eat bread? Why did you have to eat my sliced bread? Huh? Why did you do that? Why did you do that, Mr. Kitty? Why did you break into my bread? Clawed your way in. Bit. Hmm. What was so special about my bread? Why did you, why do you like my bread? Huh? Why do you like it? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, mister. Yesterday, I, I finished off the last bit that we had of our Easter ham as well. We had, we had chunks left of the, uh, the unsliced portion of the spiral sliced ham. Ah, uh, that were, that were left, so. Yeah, finished it off at lunch time, for lunch, because I had plans for dinner. Uh, and, uh. Yeah. Cats got some of the ham. They uh they they really 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 like pork. For some weird reason, they they like the ham. They like ham. Yet I th I can't really find any like cat food that is ham flavored cat food. It's odd. It's it. Uh, there's fish. There's beef. There's chicken. There's turkey. There's no pork. It's odd. There's no. There's no pork. I think they would go nuts for pork flavored cat food. I, I think they would go crazy for it. Because they really do seem to like the ham. But no, their 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 favorite is shrimp flavor. Uh 
So they, they, I, I really, at this point, I can't give them anything that doesn't have shrimp in it. Even then, they've also, like, for whatever reason, they've changed their mind completely about the, uh, the Fancy Feast gravy. Uh, so any, any Fancy Feast that we give them can't be anything with gravy anymore because even if it has shrimp, they just refuse to eat it now. They'll sniff it and walk away or jump down from their elevated perch. They just refuse now. They used to only ever eat it if it had gravy. Like, what happened? You used to only eat it if it had gravy. Now you're only eating it if it doesn't have gravy. Why? Why? Why do you not like gravy anymore? Why do you not like gravy anymore, Mr. Cat? What happened? Did they change the gravy on you? Do you not like it anymore because they changed it? Did they change it? Do you know? Does your nose know that they changed it? Anyway, uh, things. So for the food... Ah, boogers. How many, how much food am I going to make? Probably two and a half. More than I need. Always make more. Uh, always make more. Always make more. Uh, so we need to process the seeds from wood. And we need to make the cellulose out of... Uh, sodium hydroxide out of saline, the saline out of salt, and the salt from Omnite. Yeah, salt from Omnite. So I need all these things. Plus the steam... The Wawa. So, yeah. Yeah. That. This needs to be at a source of infinite Omnite. Wherever it may go. So where do we have infinite Omnite? Here. 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 There is a bit. That's enough. I'll do it there because we built the uh, infrastructure for it. We built the rail system out here. So I may as well do this here. That'll be that tapped. Now we do have like this across the way for the native floor as well. We got that, that. Nice, nice grouping here with that one. This is not infinite on night. I need to delete that actually. That has a source there, but not many others. That's not a good location for that. All of these are in my mall zone, so I can't really do anything with those unless I hop the rails. I guess I could do that. With, like, stuff here and here, I could tap these uh, and hop the rails. I think that'll be fine, because I'm not going to have squares in here. At the very least, probably this whole section. Uh, but this is missing. This is missing. This is, again, not a great position, but it does have one. Goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Here we go. Hi, cat. Welcome to chair.
I just want you to think about what happens whenever he goes from the uh, from the top of the bookcase to my chair without me hearing him doing it. Because he does that. He, do he does do that. Pretty often. Comes from the top to the chair. With all of his weight to the back of the chair. Pulls, yanks me back. Just all of a sudden, just yank. Like, really? Really, Cap? Auto save is auto saving yet again. Oh boy! All right, let's go. Yeah, I don't have any. No termite ammo. Not gonna spend circuits on termite ammo at this moment in time. Oh God! There's a there's a few trees here that are ahem in need of death. Let's deliver death upon these trees. Where they are in my way and in the way of progress. So oh, wow, there's actual progress. We're we're actually getting into the into the Brauk food now. Holy crap. It's actually that time. We might actually see Brauk uh, cocoons today. Depending on how many uh Brauk paddocks I am able to build. That's another great question. As well as how many uh um yeah, reproductive complexes I can build because those those need circuits, and these need micro org mines, which fortunately don't need circuits. Oh, goodness! All right, we need to import things here. It's not the right thing. Where's the hello? Hello? Where's the thing? I not have a oh the sigh one two three four five inputs I apparently am no longer carrying around any small power poles. I have apparently a zero remaining. So let's get that placed with a box. And then start building. Right, ten. Uh, I have sets of six, or f oh, five. Okay, yeah. Well, that's that's an easy, easy copy paste. Just swap the recipe over to salt. Super easy copy paste right there.
just, just seeing stacks happen so quickly. Always amazes me. Uh, so this will actually provide the output. It's burning all of the uh, crushed stone. Which is great. I'm happy about that. Uh, I do need water as water. Or a couple of things. I don't need the stacked, the stack here, but it's fine. It's fine being there because it's something I can copy paste for other stuff. Right, the saline is moving. The little point is the the solid output. Tighten that up a little bit. There you go. Da 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 da. There's our sodium hydroxide. Boop 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 boop. It appears as if I may need biofactories. At least I have enough stuff for the infrastructure that I need here. Um, yeah, it's just gonna take a little bit for those five more rock paddocks. Uh, let's cancel that. Sure. Fine by me. This spacing, though, is a little iffy. I can at least do this for the output for these though fine I'll have to I'll use the electrics Wood.
there. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Okay, steam, glorious steam. Come on down now. Oh. Boogers nuts. Boogers nuts. Okay. Agar, Balgi, Moss, Tin. I did not define Fabulgy. 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 Oops. Mosses? And tin. Late. Da. Three items in, or three three belts in, and one belt out. like to loader everything. Whoops. Sneezy. Ah, Sneezy. There's Ollie. There's Ollie. Resting. He's comfy. He's comfy. Soft and comfy. Um. I can make this work. this arrangement uh could make this work yeah that 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 precisely um or not <laughs> or not my mistake. Uh, I would need extra space. Uh, so something has to go in on the other side. And the output. Or I move the stupid pipes to the other side. Or, you know, one of these days they make those uh, pipe connections, a pass-through pipe connection. This needs to be a tile down. I think I can do a tile up here. Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do it. Yoppers. Yop. 
furs. There it is. buildings and there's the rock food went on down See, building like this is fine to me. I I can build vertical bottom up quite easily. The and then left right like that. The issue is uh, generally the other way around. Yeah, this this like this. That's where I'm like my brain doesn't quite work as well with the other way around going from going from top down and then right left there's something about this this way doesn't fit as well in my brain I mean it, I, I can still do it like don't get me wrong I still do it it's just it, there are inefficiencies in here that I think I would not have had I built it left to right bottom up Hell, it might just be the left-right thing versus right-left. Um, but, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Route food. Define. The route food. Why did we make two and a half Vrauk food when we only need one for our purposes here? Because we need more Vrauk cocoons, in particular, than the amount that we need for Vrauk. I'm thinking ahead. Just a bit. Just a tad bit. Quite, quite a bit. There are things that we that will be involved in making uh, logistic science that I am going to need to have Rauk cocoons for. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not at this moment in time. I know that I will need Rauk cocoons in further progression. Yeah, retrovirus. Retrovirus needs Rauk cocoons. I may not need the retrovirus currently as a, a thing that I need to spend on a science. I don't need it for a science yet. I will, though, need it for items involved in science. Just not yet. I do need the cocoons for them initially. Uh, all right. Where are we going and what are we doing? Next is Vrauk. 
the coons. I see that I have set, uh, I need 5.4. Uh, so I think the amount that I will plan is 7.5 if I can. I will plan seven and a half. Do that recipe. And that's going to need water cycling. And it needs sap. So the one thing I will need to do is make sure that I have sap trees. And uh, so I, I have sap trees. I just, and I need these sap buildings which do not need circuits, but do need soil. So I need to go up and grab soil for those. And uh, yeah, make sure I have the Vrauk in there. All right, so I need, there is a display bug here. There, There is a display bug here. Yeah, factory factory planner is bugged. This is displaying that I need 30 machines, but this utilities is displaying that I do in fact actually need 31 buildings. 31 needed, not 30. Ah. Uh, that sucks. Uh, I also need to build at least one more of these so that I can set up the stuff in the mall. Although I guess I can just walk or grab from here. Ten thousand of each signal currently, so I think. I think I may have enough, and I have 44,000 rail in my inventory, so I probably have enough for now. Landfill, I guess I'll grab what I've made. It's very slow to make. Very, very slow to make. The, uh, the landfill. For all the infrastructure that it needs. Oh my goodness. That's another, another one of those things. It's like, really? Really? Why? Why you do this? This is regular power. This is regular power. This needs to be removed and replaced. Well, I guess I need to uh, put it at, a, like, tap into another Omnite source because this does not have enough spaces. I mean, it does, but it's messy to add another five. Because bear, bear in mind that this is like effectively five belts of uh, Omnite being used to make power per line. There's four lines here. That's a lot of ore being eaten to make power. Soil. Make me thingies. And that gives me 25. That'll be 50. Uh, and then 30 reproductive com 31 reproductive complexes. That's going to be the problem. Back again to steal all of my circuits from all of these requester chests.
And that's all I got. Down bricks. Oh joy. How many is that? 21. 26. Be 27 of 31. I need four more. one just one just need one i think i think it's one if i have one on me there we go Ta -da! this is so dumb this is so stupid Then I can't forget that it is in fact 31 and not 30 because Factory Planner is dumb and is not showing me the correct number. The saving grace is that this does not need to be in a square with access to Omnite. So it should be placed in one that does not have access to Omnite. I... See. This stuff will be squares. So, if there's any Omnite there, then it's not for that. Uh, this doesn't. Off we go! Okay. Here. All the trees must die. Ah, so what is there to talk about? I think I've like talked about everything at this at this point about, that I could talk about in terms of like other other topics besides this game. Um, shall we talk more about AFK Journey? I guess I'm not sponsored by them yet. I've, I'm playing it anyway. I've been playing it. Uh, it's been great uh, overall. I've I have enjoyed it immensely. I I did say I I did join a guild, a, a guild on my on my server called uh, Oni. It's called Oni. Oni, led by Umi. Uh, and uh, we ranked uh, number twenty one on the uh, the guild rankings, for what good that's worth, uh, from the. Uh, guild battle phase, whatever, whatever. It's not, it's not PvP. It's PVE stuff. Um, called Battle Chronicles, I think, is the name. Uh, basically, it's a series of fights, PVE fights, that each person in the guild is able to contribute towards. You can do the fights. And the more that you contribute, the more score that you get towards your contribution towards the guild. But also, uh, the further that the guild goes in general, the 
uh, compared to other guilds, the higher their ranking. Uh, so, if you do if you do a lot of damage and you progress pretty far in the battle chronicles part of the game, your guild would get like ranked, and you get rewards for ranking. Uh, the, the, the guild leader, though, says that he wants us to be top five this next round. And I'm like, I, I immediately started laughing. Like, that's not actually going to happen. That's that that's not happening. I'm pretty certain. I did not join a top guild because I did not want to be part of that uh, competitive grind fest um no i want to play at the rate that i play and if that happens to be on the upper end of activity fine but i'm not going to go out of my way to go even harder than i am you know and i don't, I don't want to feel compelled to play when i don't want to play for example or to do what i don't want to do grind what i don't want to grind I want to I do what I want to do. Uh, and it just so happens that right now, uh, I'm... I, my account's fairly good. Fairly high up in strength. Particularly in my guild. It's like, I'm, I'm up there. Not the top of top, but I'm good up there. I'm, I'm doing what I can, doing, doing the con contribution what I can, playing the aspects of the game and ranking okay-ish in the aspects that I'm playing in. Like I, I play the, uh, the, the dream realm content, those, those boss fights every day. There's a, there's a boss fight. They, they cycle between four different bosses, a different boss each day, every every day and uh yeah I, I am regularly at this point i would say in the top 200 on the server in, in the leaderboards for that uh i did rank in the top 100 one time for, for one of the one of the bosses um and and get rewards for ranking on the leaderboards for that but and i think what else what else did i did i rank on I'm like tech I I can get in top 200 of the of the or PvP arena for the server. That's like something I can do if I did more arena, but <laughs> ha 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 uh, It's more something I just I just do the attempts just to do the attempts and I try to win, but not always guaranteed. I don't know enough about the character interactions and the skill interactions and the positioning interactions to say that I am great at the PvP. Like I'm I'm not at the point where I'm thinking about what does their opponent positioning and character choice mean for how I should respond with my own characters and positioning. That's that's not a, a thing I'm currently consciously thinking about because I still feel like I'm learning characters. Okay, what inputs do we need? Moss, food, and flora. But yeah, the other aspect of it is that there's, um, it being early days, uh, there's going to be a lot of churn. Uh, there's going to be a lot of people who were, who were playing, who, who were playing a lot and joined guilds who aren't playing anymore. That's, or, or who stopped playing without saying anything. So my, my other thought was, 
about you know this this idea that we could be top five is like uh or that that the guild leader would like us to be in the top five ranking of all of the guilds on the current server which is uh 221 yes server s221 my, my thought was that is of that is uh okay we can try um but I, I had like just I had just been looking actually at the uh, at the guild list uh, at the member list and I'm like you know there's like five people here of thirty who look like they aren't playing as much and sure enough like last night two inactives got kicked out of thirty in the allowed in the guild like the this game the guild sizes shockingly small i i don't really understand why it's so small uh, for the guild size uh, it it really needs to be bigger I, it, you really need to be able to have more people in 30 is it, it feels really small and really bad like 50 minimum 50 minimum Eh, this is too many, but whatever. It was too, too many. But hopefully we'll get the ability to upgrade guild size at some point. That would be, that would be better. That would be nice. Uh, but the, uh, the Battle Chronicles, it operates on a cycle, uh, with, with an included waiting phase, and we're right now in the, having just finished the first cycle, we're in the waiting phase for cycle two, where it basically it shows you the map that you're having to work with, and you can come up with whatever strategy you want. The, the problem is that that's usually something that's going to be like five minutes of work and they make you make you wait several days before being able to actually you know play the game uh so that needs improvement <laughs> cough cough that could use some improvement folks developing this game yeah it's not actually a good idea to make people like wait multiple days like that Our do is to do hickers. Oh. Something's on its own. Probably the moss. Native flora is stacked. Huh. Also.
moss. Ah. May need additional locomotives for moss. That is a vehicle throughput issue, not a production issue. Gib barrel. Oh yeah, give water to that. That's that's pretty important, I think. Is you know the water part of it, the omnic water part of it, and then uh, of course we need to you know void. Yeah, void the waste. That would help too. All right, all that leaves is 31 of these, which unfortunately is uh, not a great number to work with. Not, not an even number to work with. Lines of eight, but the last line will only have three. So four, four, three lines of eight and one line of seven. And the throughput here is low enough. I can use mechanical inserters. The only issue is that I do need three lines in. the uh, empty barrels to the right and up in there. Okay. There's that. The next idea, question here is, how do I want to set up the rest of the lines? Do I want to share this middle belt? Well, as it turns out, the amount of throughput I need of moss is 0.25. So yes, I could absolutely use long-handed inserters to put it in. Uh, so all this would take is rotating those inserters. Okay. 
copy the whole thing. Overlap, paste, and trim. The ends. That is 31. I just don't have the resources to build a 30 second. Otherwise, I would just so that it didn't look like I was missing one. But no, this is this is intended for now. And hey, it fits. That's the bigger, the bigger uh, happy thing. The bigger thing to be happy about. It fits. Hallelujah, it fits. Wow. All a uh, all square dedicated to half a belt of cocoons. Yeah. Makes me think that I I need to be careful about the the Vrauk, the actual Vrauk. 116 is a lot. I can fit that in a square. I I believe I checked that. And yes, it can fit. Uh no, I will not overproduce Rauk. Um for avoiding, I will, I will, I will leave it to at 116. Uh, in fact, I will be removing like everything from here but the sap. Um, that that is the build that I will do next. Work on next, but. We shall see about that. Uh, copy this. For that. And for you. This for you. Uh oh. I'm out of belt. Let there be belt. Just add power. power. Those are all moving. These are starting to move. These are starting to move. Yeah. The cocoons have begun to flow. Speaking of flowing, uh... go well all things considered I think next time we uh, will at least latex I think we will latex next time I don't know I don't know about you but I think latex is next once we, uh, well, oh, that would help.
once we get our Rauk formic acid going. Da -da -da. That should be half a belt's throughput. Um, yeah. That, that should be that. There shouldn't be... Oh. Okay. It's good. It's good. It's fine. Like, there shouldn't be issues. Um, there are specific recipes in this game, in this building, and just in general. A lot of a lot of the alien life stuff has this unfortunate issue where some recipes need to use more than a full stack of barreled uh, fluid and produce more than a full stack of empty barrels. And when that happens, the entire machine will pause until all of the empty barrels, or at least enough of the empty barrels, have been removed from the machine. Uh, it, it has this issue uh, with with those items. Uh, or with There are recipes that have this issue where it will produce more barrels than a stack and the machine will go yellow and not move. So you don't actually get the correct throughput from the machine because it has this issue where it just it cannot unload instantaneously. It sucks. It sucks. It, it, it sucks and it's entirely preventable and it, uh, yeah, it's still there. It still exists as an issue as far as I'm aware. And having stack size 5 on these barrels absolutely does not help. Why does that look like more than seven and a half? That like that looks like more than half a belt to me, but it should be half. It should be exactly half. Averaged out over time. Hmm. Anyway. Formic acid is next. Oh, They still have not fixed that issue. Thank God for the autosave being, uh, after I finished the build on our way back to the mall. Uh, it's this thing. It's, it's this beacon here. Um, I can't use this utilities dialogue while I have this turd beacon natural cycle module installed because there's, there is no recipe to make that module. Um, so it errors. Because it, it's look, it tries to find the recipe for that module, and it doesn't find it. It's a little, a little odd. is a little odd but gotta live with it so I won't know if I have enough of the machines or if I need actually 117 instead of 116 on the Brauk paddocks 
nor will I have an easy way of counting. So I have 30, I, I have 29. I need, a, I need to create at least 87 more. I need to create at least 80 more. Seven more. Fifty seven more. Okay, that should be that's that was fifty seven. I just, it just needed a aluminum. Sure. Oh, and I'm going to get a whole bunch of lamps. Oh, that's the other, that's the other fun part. Oh yeah, this is, this is going to give me like a whole bunch of lamps in my inventory. Yeah, because that's the, that's what happens when you take the uh, natural cycle upgrade for Vrauk that gives you productivity on the Vrauk paddock. It, uh, it slows down the building, and it also gives you lamps as a, uh, from making the paddocks. <sighs> All right. Uh, I also need a lot of circuits for 13 slaughterhouses. Okay, 10 additional slaughterhouses, of which I have, I need 50 each. I don't think we're hitting 500 here. I, 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 yeah, I, don't, I don't think we're hitting 500 here. Yeah, stop, uh, stop eating those. Thanks. I don't need those anymore. Not for a while. Still need six. Six more. I have the other stuff. It's just, you know, all those slaughterhouses. Oh, yes. And enough cages. For uh, the process here. So where are cages? I need all of them. I should probably set up a thing for making cages. But I need my, I need my factory. So I'll just, I'll hand grab them. I have no other real choice in the matter. Well, that'll take a minute. Mine. This will also take multiple minutes. So, to that end, what are we... What are we going to talk about? We're near enough to the end of the stream. I think, uh... Just because I have to... I have to wait now. For... Circuits. To have enough of the infrastructure to build the factory that uh, we may... As well start thinking about wrapping up. Let me... Let me think about this for a moment. I will need to have access to a solid fuel for voiding the byproducts here. However, that solid fuel does not necessarily need to be Omnite. I could use wood. I don't need wood here. 
but I think I'll bring it in anyway because I don't want to use Omnite in a square that I could, like, the Omnite patches are a semi-limited in, in number. I, need, I just need to figure out where I'm going to build the factory. We can at least figure out where we're going to build. We'll build there. And I'll let the I'll let the circuits naturally accrue. I'll I'll let the game run. I've got a I've got a pretty powerful computer. I think I'll be able to run have this game going in the background while I run uh AFK Journey and my Blue Stacks uh Azure Lane instance. I think I'll be able to do that at the same time. Just maybe. We'll build the factory, we'll plan the factory, and then however many more buildings I need will be planned out. I don't even know if I can fit the, uh... I don't even know if I can fit the slaughterhouses in here. My goodness. That'll ultimately determine whether or not this factory will be providing rope onto the trains. That's if I just don't have the space for slaughtering them as well. Oh, you've already filled up the the buffer. Nice. How is my power doing? Fine. It's just fine. It's doing okay. I'm still happy that we built that extra bit of power today. Alright, I need to copy from the cocoons. Uh, oh, I didn't I didn't do that either. Great. I need 55. Here's 46. More. 46. Eight. Oh. Die. Glorious sap it is absolutely glorious. Sap is going, it's flowing. Grab one, just needs one. 
I still need like the whole infrastructure, even if it is just one. A hundred and sixteen. All right. Six. Seven. Actually. Um. One, two, three, of course, so it's the same belt arrangement. This will be different. Because uh, this, I will... I will have the empty barrels going one way, and I'll have the Rauk going a different direction. So I will have two lines here. And there is enough space for two lines here. Um, so, 17... Like so. Auto save is auto saving. Done. That is the essential infrastructure. None of the logistics are done, but that is the, uh, that's the buildings. Uh, what I wanted to make sure of is that I would have enough space for the 13 slaughterhouses plus voiding. All of the solids from this. Should I be voiding all of the solids from this? No. I'm going to do it anyway. I should I should provide all four of those solids, uh, as well as the Vrauk uh, Formic. Oh, I am. I appear to not have enough. I have not made them yet. All right, fine by me. Okay, so somewhere over here, uh, that will be terminating here. Joy. It works. Just one line. One line of 13. I will need the voiding. No matter what. 100% I will need the voiding of the items. Um, it's just I may... I may do some filtering, overflowing... Uh, it would be nice to have access to at least some chitin. The issue is that this is not particularly useful volumes of these things.
Not yet, anyway. So I am hesitant to add them, to tack them on. It's something I could do later instead. Wah. Is it like that oh, down there? No. Odd. Cool. The barrel rolls to the right. Missing a thing. I need this thing. That is correct. Or at least more correct. Better. It is. It is better. Uh, cages. I haven't even started making the cages that I've queued up, so probably have none. None cages. Yeah, I think we're. Oh, 45. We have 45 cages. Yay! It's not going to be enough for a line of 13. However,. That is where we're going to end things off for the day, folks, because we have made it to the end of the stream. Oh, boy. And the stream has not been extended by anyone. So that is the basic layout for that. Or that is the layout for the Formic Acid Factory. Over the course of the day today, we built the Agar Factory. We built, we built Agar. We built... Vrauk food, we built Vrauk cocoons, and we have built the infrastructure, placed all of the infrastructure down, minus doing the logistics and power for the uh, formic acid build. Now, once I have formic acid, next stream, we will be doing the uh, latex build. We will work on the latex. I'm not sure at this moment if there are other factories I would want before making latex. I think I will have sodium alginate done separately. I think sodium alginate will be done separately because I know that it is an ingredient in a number of uh, Pi Alien Life related upgrades uh, like module upgrades it is needed as an ingredient and it's in, just as an ingredient for some other stuff too it's it's needed for more than just this so i will probably have a sodium alginate factory making the limestone stone and seaweed local to the alginate um and it will need a source of if, of omnite for that and there we will go into the rest of the latex build 
that will make the creamy latex and the slabs local to latex, along with all the steam. Uh, and from there, uh, titanium. Af after latex will be titanium and aromatics uh, and anthracene oil and organic solvent. All before a rubber factory. Uh, yeah, we will eventually get a rubber factory. That is, that is the goal. And we will at least get latex next time, I would hope. Uh, we are going to build this build, the remainder of the build, and do all of the logistics together. Because the only thing that I'm going to do between streams, potentially, is actually build the buildings that I still need. That is that is what I will allow to happen, is to get enough circuits to build the remaining slaughterhouses. But with that, we have reached the end of the stream. I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Ataka Show. If you've enjoyed the stream today, do all the social stuff below the video. I will be back with more of this on Thursday, I hope to see you all then.